Hey, Muff Crushers. So, I want to go ahead and do another video. Um, this one's going to be talking about your uh, uh, Mythic Dungeon Tools add-on and how to use the add-on efficiently. And then, of course, how to use it to your advantage with your Raider IO. So, the first thing is, obviously, you need to download the Raider uh, IO Mythic Dungeon Tools add-on, which looks like this. this little thing sliding around my map. I click it and open it up. You can uh, do a lot with this add-on, which is really cool. So this is Mist, uh, and you can click really any any dungeon you want. Um, you can uh, create pools or routes of any choosing that you so see. Um, you can even draw lines like I kind of already done here. Um, they could be any color you want. You can red, yellow, green, just do green. Uh, draw a line. Uh, you can change the size of the brush too. Things like that. You can even draw a straight line if you got a shaky hand like I do. You can't draw a straight line. You can do that. Or you could do an arrow. Let's do, let's do this one on white. Yeah. And again, change the colors. Make it a little bigger. Or not change the colors. You can make, make it a little uh, bigger or smaller. However you like. You can highlight it and click. Let's do two. Enter. Tiny little arrow. Uh, you can even insert notes, which I thought this feature was really cool. Uh, so if like, let's say, um, like right here, we're doing a skip and people are looking at this and they're like, huh, what is this? Uh, to uh, avoid any confusion, you just go to insert, click it, click right here, and then click on your number and just type in, you know, like skip, this pots. Viz pots, stealth, you know, shroud, whatever you like, right? Um, and when people are, if they're confused about this, they could just go over here, be like, highlight their mouse over that note and see what it says. They're like, oh, this, he wants us to skip this. Perfect. I need to save in viz pots, or I need to save my shroud or stealth for this part or this part. So. That's really cool. And you can insert multiple different kinds, right? And they're numbered too. So I already have one right here, two, three, four. So it's easier to um, kind of navigate. And of course you could move the notes, right? So if I need, the, need this note a little closer, I could put it right on the line. If I want three over here, and four right here, I could do that too. Uh, of course you can also erase your drawings like so. Very easy, the arrows a lot easier right and then again if you just really hate your mouth or your route already and it's ugly it's really ugly the lines aren't right you don't want those lines there you want to redo them you could just go here delete all drawings and press delete now if you delete the drawings it will delete your notes as well but it won't actually um delete the uh mob so you actually have to go and do that now of course if you made your route and you don't like it and you think you could do better and you've done all and you've clicked pretty much or you pretty much have done the entire thing already and you really just want to get it fixed or just redo it you can come up here and press the reset reset etc now of course if you don't want to go uh if you don't want to go through each and every pool clicking you know first pool second pool you know and third and so on and so forth right you can actually import a route and I'll show you how to do that right here. So let's go ahead and go to uh, the Raider IO page real quick. All right. So this is the Raider IO page. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your character. All right. Once you go to your character, you're gonna scroll down and if you look to the right, all right, you'll see your you know your, t your recently timed runs, uh, and then you can see um. Right here, Radar IO News, you know, the routes, the weekly route, Fortified, Raging, Explosive, and Tormented, which is, you know, the weekly route uh, for this week. And if you, you scroll down, you can see all of them. Now, you don't have to scroll through all of these to kind of get an idea. You can just go to this specific dungeon that you want. So for us, we want Mist, right? So we're going to click on Mist, right? And once you're here, you don't have to wait for it to load up or anything like that. Sometimes it doesn't. All you're going to do is you're going to come right here and copy the MDT import string just like so, right? Now, I want to mention this part here. Um, 
so Mist, uh, Mist doesn't have many skips. There's really one skip in Mist. Uh, of course, you can make more, but most common is there's is really at the beginning now. But I want to show you that, like in Halls of Atonement, there are many skips you can do. Uh, and so, if you look right here where it says up, it you see a route with skips or route with no skips. So if you want to do a Halls of Atonement without skips, you click the tab, route with no skips, and you'll have it, then you copy, then you copy the MDT. Now, if you want to route with skips, you click that tab, and oh, look, it's starting to load. Uh, oh, never mind. And then you just click it, okay? So just be sure that you have the right tab clicked. Miss doesn't really have it. You can see Playfall does. Look, okay, here we go. Yeah, so this is uh, with a skip. And you can see it. It's, I don't even know what this hot mess is, actually. This is the whole map, but it's only showing the bottom floor. Uh, strange. But anyways, you kind of get what I'm saying. So anyways, you're going to copy the route that you want. So we copied, you know, missed. Make sure it says copy. Then you're going to go back to your game, right? And open up your uh, Mythic Dungeon Tools. Once you're at your Mythic Dungeon Tools, I hate that. You're going to go right here. And import and click the import, right? Paste the copied string. Make sure you press OK, and then click import, and it will all pop up for you the entire route for the week to do. Now the thing about Mist is it's random which direction you go, but in the maze, uh, in this maze, the percentage is always the same. I just want to make sure you guys understand that the percentage. Is always the same now you can actually add percentage to this uh, but we'll talk about that in another video uh, but you can see pull one right here it's highlighted uh, and you can also already see the first there's already a note into this uh, which is right here note one uh, if you have a night fay you can open the little gate here if you don't have a night fay then this is a problem so you pretty much mandatory you have to have a night fay for mist and then right after that note Go to first pull one, first pull two, and then up uh, uh, three. But you see there's a note in between three. Oh, look at this. The skip works with sap. Imprison, mind soothe on the closest enemy. Failing uh, that, you if you uh, failing that, you can also polymorph or ice trap. Then that player runs through first. Then the rest of the group runs through. Then the player uses a viz or feign. So this is, that's a nice little trick if you don't have any invis pots or you have like a hunter or a mage. But with that kind of a skip, it's very important that whoever is doing the CC, because if you ice trap or CC something, or if you ice trap or polymorph an ad, it automatically aggroes to that person. So it's important that they run through first to get the aggro, and then everybody else does, and then they invis, and now they just broke their aggro. Right, but if they if you were to go first, you're gonna grab aggro off of the poly or the ice trap. So really important about that. Anyways, but you kind of can see what's going on here, the the pools and everything like that, uh, and all the notes, which is really really cool. Um, and of course, if you wanted it with skips or anything like that, you can you do that as well. Now one thing, and this is this is something that kind of blew me away actually when I first learned about it is you can actually a lot of people are wondering like what do what does each mob do right so if you actually highlight your mouse over the mob you'll see you know what the mob's name is and things like that but if you see it says right click for more info if you right click the mob you can actually pull this up I'll tell you the name the health what kind of creature it is it's aberration that's level uh <laughs> enemy forces it's equivalent to six mobs that's crazy. Uh, and then it tells you its abilities and what each ability does, right? Uh, and of course, if it's a fortified week and it's an ad that you're highlighting, obviously you know mm, this is a this is a scary mob, right? He's equivalent to six. And then of course, if someone is confused about an ad, what you could do is if you open your little chat box or your party chat box, you can open that up, uh, and then you can just link it, link the spell, and it'll actually put it in the chat so people can see what they need to be kicking. Um, but if you if you look here, I even tell you what this mob is affected by, and I'll go to another mob here. 
So here we go. So like this mob, this is the mob you CC. You can see it's effect. It could be affected by any kind of real CC: sap, prison, silence, and repentance, kicks, all that stuff, right? Fear, uh, mind control, which is even cool. So you could do pretty much anything you want to this mob, um, and it tells you its abilities. But what most people don't know is, uh, I get this question: is like, can that mob see stealth if I were to run by it, right? If you look down this little list here, you'll see it says stealth or stealth detect. Now, stealth means the mob itself is stealth. Um, stealth detect means it can see stealth, right? So if none of these are highlighted, that means it can't see stealth and it's not stealth, right? Really, you just want to pay attention to this part, right? Um, now, for let's go to, uh, hang on, Spires of Ascension real quick. Just to show you what I'm talking about. So these little uh, stealth claw, uh, claw guys, they are stealth, right? You see, it's yellow, it's highlighted stealth. Right? So that means you can't see the mobs. You need some way of breaking them out of stealth in order to see them. And, of course, they have the... Of course, you know, Blizzard was like, Hey, this is fun. Let's go ahead and add, give them a little feral ability. Rake, uh, pounce, where it stuns you. So... Their pounce is only if they're coming out of stealth, so that's why it's really important that you break them out of stealth first before they break you. So, um, anyways, going back to Mist, and then if you want to know uh, another way, so uh, here's a good example. The uh, the villager is the big tree ugly guy that you see at the beginning of uh, Mist, pretty much the second pull you do. Um, see, it's highlighted, stealth attack. So you know you cannot stealth past him, right? Uh, and he's equivalent to seven mobs so fortified huh he hurts uh and of course this is just to be very clear here these the health changes based off of the level so this is always noted at a 10 so this is his health at a you know mist plus 10 fortified uh if it was anything else then well that would suck and you can change that so let's say you're doing right here's a little scroll bar here Let's just say I was doing a 17 mist. Make sure I have that. Right click, and you can see his health changed significantly, almost a mil. So, uh, obviously, I don't know if it changed it. Oh, it does. So, at a, a plus 20, he pretty much has a mil health. He's a mini boss. That sucks. So, but anyways, so if you're ever making a route and you really want to know what mob uh, can see stealth or anything like that, that's how you do that. Uh, and of course, there's a lot of different ways to uh, to do this. Of course, um, you don't have to do it exactly how the MDT says uh, off of the website. But if you want a good foundation to start on with making a route, that is a good way uh, to go about it. Um, the rest of this stuff, like so, let's say I made a route and I want to export it uh, to share. To other people on uh, like the Wacko website, you can see. You can... So, um, let's just go to a random ugly route. Okay, never mind. I don't have any routes on here because I deleted them all. Yay. All right, let's just do this. So, the other side, Fort Week, yada, yada, yada. I want to export it, export it, copy the string, and then I can just go to the Wacko's IO page and post the route and get feedback from other people, right? Um, you can open up this. This really you don't want to play with so i would recommend not um it will mess up some things so just kind of leave that alone and then of course if you want to share your route or anything like that um when you're in a party this will open up and you just click share and it'll link the route so guys i hope this helps you kind of understand how to make a good solid route a good foundation also i really hope it helps you uh kind of figure out what the mobs do and what's important uh and what to be kicking, what to be CCing, things like that. So this will help you kind of better your route and avoid certain mobs, maybe. So really cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys take care.